Hello and welcome to To Tell the Truth. I am your host, Dee Rivative. Now let's bring in our panel of challengers. My name is Sir Isaac Newton, and I am the real inventor of costumes. My name is Wilhelm Gottfried Leibniz, and I am the real inventor of calculus. My name is Al Gore, and I am the true inventor of calculus, the internet, and global warming. Okay, panelists, here is a written statement from the real inventor of calculus. In mathematics, I spend my time working on the rigorous development of a subject from precise axioms and definitions. Working out a rigorous foundation for calculus occupied me for much of the late 17th century. I wasn't given full credit for my discovery at the time. Rather, it was debated who actually discovered it first. I was entangled in a bitter dispute that lasted through my dying days. Okay, panelists, thanks for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, these three panelists all claim to be the real inventor of calculus. Okay, panelists, let's start our questioning. Newton, what are the two basic processes in calculus? Integration and derivation. Al Gore, which function is equal to its derivative? A conjunction function. Whew, isn't there a song about that? Leibniz. When we find extrema of a function, what do we use? Ah, very easy indeed, D. Very easy indeed. It's called the first derivative. Mr. Gore, what does it mean to take a derivative or differentiate? To differentiate means to become specialized. Hmm, kind of like when I won the, uh, the Nobel Peace Prize. Newton. Which theorem was discovered and led you to beginning your work on the calculus? That is the binomial theorem. Leibniz, when did you start your work on the calculus? That would be 1672. Mr. Gore, when did you start your work on the calculus? 1985. Newton, when did you start your work on the calculus? I began my work in 1663. Mr. Gore, when did you first publish your findings about the calculus? Well, it was footnoted in my findings of what I call the information superhighway. Most notably, the High Performance Computing and Communication Act of 1991, which led to the creation of the National Information Infrastructure. Leibniz, when did you first publish your findings about calculus? In 1684, I published details of the differential calculus. Same question to you, Newton. In 1687, I published The Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy. In this work, I presented my theories on gravity, motion, and mechanics. My theories explain the eccentric orbits of comets, the tides and their variations, their precession of on the Earth's axis, and the motion of the moon. But Newton, you didn't mention calculus at all in that description! Actually, I footnoted this document with uh, fluxons and fluence. <laughs> what are flux ions and fluence? I think you're making things up. Nobody's even heard of those. Shut up, Leibniz. You stole all my ideas. I discovered calculus two decades before you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down, gentlemen. We can solve this problem peacefully. I've got a problem we can solve peacefully. I'm super serial, guys. Global warming, man, bear, pig, etc., etc. All these problems we can solve. You're just jealous that I published before the internet, you did. Calculus, I would have published way warning. earlier, except all, all the things are printing presses in London things burned down in the Great Fire. Printing press excuses, excuses. Gary, You're a lame Bill. excuse for a mathematician. Yeah, well, I'm going to eat the X in your face. What? Whoa, 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 guys. bit of a dispute about which of the two men, Newton or Leibniz, is the true inventor of calculus. They are actually both credited with discovering calculus, and although Newton came up with the ideas first, Leibniz was the first to publish his ideas. It is believed they came up with their ideas independently of one another. Newton was the first to apply his ideas to physics, and Leibniz created the notation that we use. 
thanks to them, we have calculus. Thanks for being here, Mr. Gore, but you have not convinced us, in fact, that you have invented anything. Bye-bye, everybody, and thanks for watching To Tell the Truth. And watch the floor as you retreated. I begged you not to go. I begged you, I pleaded. Thank you as my only hope. And watch the floor as you 